Actually, I, I always remind the white people of my experience in Germany. A man walked up to me and apologized that he did not want to insult me, he did not want to abuse me, and asked me a question. Sophie, why are you black? Naturally, I was affected. Why am I black? He said, yes, I want to know. I did not ask him, why are you white? I said, what is your color? He said, white. He was wearing a white shirt. But I said, you are not white. He, he said, that's what they call me. So you don't know what you are? There's no, I've never seen a white man in my life. Do you know the meaning of white? I've never seen a white man. That, is this my color black? Hey, the way we use language, we have to be careful. There's no, def no denying that you are different from me. But color is just a change of something. It's not permanent. Color actually is not, it's reflection. It's not permanent. So white, yellow, green, there are no yellow people in the world. You call the Japanese yellow. I don't know yellow. We may have different colors. It's not permanent sign of intelligence or science of religion. Some white people come to Nigeria for summer holiday. Before they come back, they follow in Dakar. <laughs> Are they African? No, it is a temporary change. It doesn't affect your brain. No. There are some people in Europe who think like Nigerians. There are some Nigerians who think like... Environment can also affect you. So it's a matter of don't draw permanent structure among things in the world. Something thin today can be fat tomorrow, it can change depending on the environment. But if it's a question of mind, I think nature has the ability to think. The way you think is not determined, it's not permanent. I think primarily, but I am sure that if Western thinkers come to African thinkers, for interlock, for discussion, for dialogue, they will discover. But don't say there's nothing. You have no basis for saying there's no Africa. I don't know African philosophy. Don't say it doesn't exist. <laughs>